Good evening and welcome back to the Office of Student Veteran Life. Vets play D&D Thursdays with your DM, Brandon. That's me. I know you probably thought I was Ariel, but I am not. Uh, once again, our cleric KD is unable to join us, but we do have the rest of our crew with us today. We have Milo playing the Warlock Varian down in the bottom there. Over that way, we have Jordan. He's playing the Paladin slash Rogue Frank. Hey. Down below him. There we go. We have Jesse playing the rogue Perseus. And way down there at the bottom in that corner over there, we have, uh, it looks like, is that Pluto? <laughs> Close. Ah. Close. Well, that's uh, Wilfred? Wilfred? Okay. We have Wilfred, who is standing in for what? Victor, yeah. playing the ranger, Bashino Chavez. <clears throat> Uh, before we get started, I do have to say the views expressed on this broadcast are solely those of the individuals expressing them and do not necessarily reflect the views or ideas of the University of Washington or the VA. Additionally, usually we have fun sounds from Sirenscape. Their servers are down, so if you want more sounds, yell at them. Nicely. All right. With that, <clears throat> last time our adventurers were battling their way through Santa's basement. They fought a horde of twisted, demented elves in the kitchen a bunch of uh, Krampus's servants. Uh, they freed an elf named Folly, who was friends with Jolly. They raided the armory, and then they kicked down a door to see an elf, who should be on a shelf, sitting behind a desk. As they opened the door, she kind of giggled gently and went, Haha, I'm Lindsay. How can I help you? <laughs> what do you do? Vomit in my mouth. Forgot about <laughs> So are we supposed to be in the room? I mean, you or... guys were in the hallway when you opened the door. Oh, okay. That's right. I feel I'm like I need to pro armory. be providing the music. I'm gonna go in the room. Okay. Oh boy. But oh, with my boy. dagger drawn, but like. Oh, okay. Kind of hidden, so it doesn't look like I'm. I'm not threatening looking, but I'm ready. I just want to remind the party that I'm still uh, floating a little bit off the ground because I cast a pretty lengthy uh, fly spell before the end of the last session. Impressive. Good to know. Uh, Frank is going to follow with Perseus. As you guys are walking, you see the little room is lined with cages. Uh, they're lined with bars as if they were to cage. It's almost like the gel cell, <laughs> like their gel cells. Uh, in here, you see a very large man. Um, <clears throat> who is easily seven foot tall, uh, just completely swole, uh, glowing red eyes, and just looks very grumpy. A uh, big, long beard, a bowl full of, well, it looks like concrete, not quite jelly. But he looks at you and says, Ho, 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 oh, visitors. Hi, Lindsay. Yes. Uh, what brings you here? Um, just you know, exploring. <laughs> I'm not be looking for Santa. You don't explore Santa's castle. You came for Santa or you came for Krampus. Which one? Huh. So you're familiar with both? Of course I am. Who are you more familiar with? I would say I'm equally familiar with both. Are they the same person by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't know anything about the criticals, do you? Hmm. Apparently not. Um, <laughs> who's in this cage? <laughs> That's Santa. <laughs> what? That, that, really? that is Santa in that cage. <laughs> Frank thinks to you himself, guys look at this? damn that boy thick. <laughs> well, hold on, my... <laughs> Roll 20 just restarted, so let me just... Rip. Whoa, that. Milo has been eaten by a dragon. A very cool dragon. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Just once, can you do a hey? You're a bad man, Brandon. So, what are you all doing here in my jail? Why is Santa torturing elves? <laughs> Santa, do you care to answer that question? Frank turns his head to the side. It's not torture. It's re-education. 
The nearly dead elf says otherwise. Some take a little bit longer to learn the lessons. <laughs> and what was the lesson that you were teaching Holly? Don't be a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> so you taught her not to be a douchebag by being a douchebag? Who are you to accuse me of douchebaggery? I'm the police commissioner, you old fuck. Not here, you not. Everywhere. Uh, also kind of douchey. <laughs> no, not warrants abound. <laughs> You're not wrong. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I'm going to wonder, maybe audibly, uh, we've already seen one Santa Claus imposter. Who's to say there isn't another? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's right. This guy doesn't really like Santa Claus. Who's impersonating me? His bitch. <laughs> Frank points to himself. You were not then, on the authorized list of my mall Santas. I don't give a fuck. Hmm. If you I'll, can't tell, Frank's what, turning into the bad cop. <laughs> when I get out of here, I'll deal with you. You can deal with these, and Frank kind of grabs his crotch a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. If I visited you, you'd be on the bad list. So is Santa caged up right now? Yes, Santa is okay. currently behind bars. Who got you caged up, Santa? <laughs> well, my brother. Krampus, I presume? You guessed it. The only other crinkle around. Frank is going to set one bottle of eggnog into the uh, bars. Yeah, I have had eggnog in a minute. Pretty close to the. Oh, and I hope this gets more jolly after his eggnog. Oh. I'm sorry. Frank's gonna put what another we eggnog about? in there. Grabs it. Start. He starts nursing this one. <laughs> Frank is gonna put one bottle just out of reach. He's still nursing the first one or the second one. Frank's watching. So you guys are going to get me out of here or what? If you tell us where your brother is. Third floor. My chambers. Mm. But does this dude look dangerous? Santa? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that boy looks that. thick. I like that close up. Let me pull that up again for oh, you. Oh, you know what? I don't think he can see him. That's oh, god damn! <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, Thus so, uh, Frank's that boy thick comment. Less okay with letting this dude out at this point. Huh. Damn. <laughs> the red what? eyes glow with featuring. Uh, I, I, I work out. Oh, God. Well, Santa. Um... Boy, you're a talkative bunch. Get me out of here or get out of here. <laughs> I mean, worst case scenario, we got to fuck up Santa Claus. What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> Bring in the elves. Yeah, I feel like he's not good anymore. I mean, oh, yeah, ask the elves. elves what they want to happen to Santa Claus. Specifically, the one that was just on a fucking stretching rack. <laughs> yeah. Bring Holly in and Jolly, please. I guess I'm saying that to uh, Jolly, since Jolly's alive. <laughs> yes. Hey, Jolly, come here. Jolly and Folly. Jolly still has a little sleepy thing, because she's still pretty hungover, and Folly's <laughs> here. Lindsay just chuckles. <laughs> she just seems to be really enjoying this whole thing, just sitting on top of a stack of phone books. Ollie, what would you like done here? <laughs> Please, just get the bad man away from me. I'm sorry, Santa. I won't do it again. I'll be a good elf. I'll be a good elf. <laughs> Bro, why is bad Santa... In jail. Ask him. Ask him why he's back there. Obviously, why don't you ask him? Well, hey, hey, Santa. Why the fuck are you behind bars? Uh, I have. Well, Santa likes his eggnog, and around this time of year, it's the only thing you that gets elves? me through. And uh, I had a little too much eggnog, eggnog and, and I ended up in here. Not sure how Was I that... just woke up in here. Was that directly after you accosted an elf nearly to death? It wasn't nearly to death. Folly was going to be just fine. 
once she found the Christmas magic, <laughs> she'd have been just fine. And what's the Christmas magic, Santa? It's Santa's magic. Is it eggnog? I don't even know. You make no sense, person. Who are you? I already told you who I am. A commissioner. Uh, Frank, blah, is, blah, blah. Frank is going to yeet one of the eggnogs at Santa. He snatches it out of the air. Damn. Did he roll for that? I did roll for that. Okay. <laughs> Frank, Frank's going to throw another one at him because Frank has eight. <laughs> so many. Um... Well, Frank doesn't drink. That one well. smashes into his chest and he just kind of looks down at it and continues to drink the one that you gave him earlier. Can we ask the other elf the same question? Of course you can. Jolly? Yeah. The drunk one? <laughs> <laughs> is that what, are you it. asking her uh yes i am i'm asking the same question i'm saying the same question because i actually forgot the question <laughs> jolly is just sitting there staring at santa and she's just santa and it's like the fall. greatest day of her life she she's like am i still drunk frank's gonna slap her lightly roll to hit I don't want to damage her. No, that's fine. <laughs> it's giving you a hard time. Frank, do uh, you still have handcuffs? We oh. just want answers. <laughs> you told me to do it. Well, you smash her for four damage. <laughs> Later out on her, on her, flat on her oh, butt. She's got like nine health. <laughs> <laughs> well, why? Look at what he did to your friend. Santa wouldn't do this. So you're saying that Folly's lying, Jolly? Folly might just be confused. There's no way Santa could be this bad. Santa looks like a pretty specific character. I'm pretty sure Folly picked them correctly out of the lineup. Folly, did Santa really hurt you? Uh, I just... Uh, maybe... I, can I just... I don't want to be in this room anymore. See? She's fine! She's scared. All right, I'm going to take the elf out into the hallway and tell everybody else to figure the shit out. I'll be ready to kill Santa if I need to. Well, I mean, Santa, if we let you out, will you take us to Krampus? <laughs> I can show you the way. Why, you you wanna, why do you want to okay. see Krampus? I don't know. I just want to figure out why people, why you keep <laughs> sending people. Wait, we got a letter from you. Wait, why'd you send us a letter well, to come to your castle? When I got wind that Krampus was coming, I knew I needed some help. I didn't know I'd be in this bad of a situation. Hmm. So you called for our help to get rid of... I thought you worked with Krampus. <laughs> what gave you that idea? Those old Eastern European myths? No, no. I don't work with Krampus. Why is Krampus stronger than you? He's not stronger. He's a little crafty. Really? He was sober. <laughs> I was passed out. He put me in a cage. Doesn't take strength. So if we let you out, you could go and uh, deal with Krampus by your lonesome? Uh, well, not entirely. That's what I thought. <clears throat> no, it's not because I'm not strong. It's because... My Frank's going to people... empty out an eggnog in the front of the cage, kind of letting it ooze in. His eye starts to twitch. I have two more. My people can't necessarily defeat one another on their own. <clears throat> Lindsay Sounds just like sits Uranus. back and chuckles. <laughs> what do you mean, my people? <laughs> my people? <laughs> the what do you mean, my people? Is Lindsay on Santa's side or Krampus' side? I'm asking Santa that. Uh, Lindsay's kind of a free agent. <laughs> so we could recruit her? No. So she's, a, right? oh. she's a monitor. Mm. Is she making sure you don't get out? Uh, currently, but that's not originally her task. What was her original? Well, with my people... The every individual is born in tandem with another. You would call them twins, but it's a much deeper connection. And one of us must perish for the other one to achieve full power. 
Each pair gets a monitor to observe. That's Lindsay. So, so why shouldn't we kill you? With letting him out. Why shouldn't now? you kill me? Well, if you kill me, Krampus becomes all-powerful and immortal. He will be untouchable. And if we kill Krampus, you become all-powerful and immortal. I mean, you're not wrong. And more elves will end up like Folly. The elves live good lives. I feed them, I clothe them. They have their warren down under the castle. They do their work, they get to go about being happy. Look at the Christmas village. How happy are they? They get everything they could ever want. They're happy because none of them ever come back to the village after they've been in your castle, which is a little suspicious, Santa. Can I ask everybody out into the hallway with me? Leave the man in the cage for a second. Okay. Frank obliges. Okay. 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 goes. So, uh, everybody in the hall. Um, maybe we close the door. Maybe we don't. I don't know. Not too worried if he hears me. Maybe it would be good if he heard me. But we'll talk about it first. Maybe he can overhear us. Uh, if one of these things dies, neither of them really seem benevolent. Right. If one of them dies, the other one gets harder to deal with. I have this bag, this magical bag of devouring. That's what this bag is that's floating around that I'm really freaked out about. If something goes inside of it or, well, if it goes within the bag, then powers that be within the magical item, it's my understanding, will try to drag whatever is inside of it into another dimension. Now, that's not killing it. And so unless I'm wrong... That creature's still alive, and maybe the two of them will not. I mean, like, maybe the, the twinsy thing won't be fulfilled if we can well, cram one of them bitches in this bag. If Krampus is the crafty one, Santa's probably the easier target for this. Yeah, he's also behind bars right now. <laughs> you can still and stick I don't his hands know through. If he's, like, he looks more like a barbarian. Maybe I'm judging a book by its cover, but maybe he doesn't have as much knowledge of the arcane and wouldn't suspect the bag. Or we could try and force his ass in there. I don't know. Just uh, options that I wanted to talk about with you guys. I mean, it is Santa. I feel like he's had a similar bag of sorts where he can fill it to the brim. So he might be okay. somewhat familiar. We could always bring it into the room and see if he... Uh comments on it yeah put some eggnog on the rim of the bag i mean he'll comment on it it's floating right now <laughs> <laughs> but maybe he'll be like oh it's a bag i just see a really fancy bag that, that don't floats see anything magical about the it floating. except that it's floating maybe he's bored so, with it maybe it's crinkling so like we're talking about throwing santa in this bag um y- yeah let but me you find can the throw item him into that so or how many times like... have you watched the nightmare before christmas to get this idea <laughs> in the sack i actually watched it for the first time last week believe it or not nice really yeah we watch it twice a year, once at halloween and once at christmas nice that's awesome yeah no as soon as i saw the bag i was trying to figure out a way to do cool things and as soon as i was learned about the twinsy situation i thought dude we gotta put one of these guys in this bag <laughs> for sure how big is the bag like will he fit I think it's a relatively small bag. It is. It is, but it is a magical bag. So any, just to kind of fill in the knowledge a little bit with this bag, any living creature that puts a portion of its self into the bag has a 50% chance of being pulled into the bag. If it starts its turn in the bag, it is destroyed and devoured. <clears throat> it can try to pull itself out of the bag with a strength check, or someone else can try to pull it out with a strength check, provided they don't get sucked in. Inanimate objects inanimate objects can be stored in there, uh, but once each day, the bag swallows everything in it and spits them out into another plane of existence. Does strength go up as uh, Santa gets more drunk? He, You'll have to find out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was worth a shot. His intelligence doesn't, I'll tell you that. I figured that much. Maybe his dexterity goes down a little. Yeah, I'm okay with this plan. Oh, there it is. If anybody wants to do a little light reading, I finally found it. I had the wrong character sheet up. If we can get him in there, I think it's worth a shot. But You want to stuff Santa in said bag? 
I want to try and get his hand in there to have it devour him. <laughs> That's all we have to do. All right. How do you guys want to go about this? They're already uh, probably like suspicious because we're yeah, having an we aside should. in the hole. Yeah, we've been out here for a if, long time. Come in with the if someone bag. were to open the bag and then throw it at Santa, like trying to get it as like a hoop over his head, <laughs> would that technically interact in the same fashion? If part of his body is inside the bag, yes. It would take so some sort of a role, if we I'm get sure. that, but I've got, that big, I've got large an unseen nostril. servant carrying it right now, and he can I, be ordered to do things with it. But can he get through the bars? Is the the big question? That is the question. Maybe I think it's worth him. trying to throw this bag at Santa while he's drunk, and we just keep on feeding him eggnog. Uh, okay, um, I'm gonna fly back into said room with the bag floating behind me so that he doesn't see it. That's just how we get it in position, maybe. we we'll try and get him drunk, pop open the thing, and try and get it over his dome piece. Maybe it'll debilitate him while he tries to roll to get it out. So you're going to open yeah. the cage? No. And then We're going to try and liquor this dude up. Can't we throw the bag through the bars? You can. I just thought he said he's going to pop it open. Oh, Dear that's God. actually what I was thinking. Because I have a floating bag. <laughs> You are ballsy. I am also flying, so and you he's a drunk, almost immortal. I don't. I don't know if this is a good idea. Uh, you see right. a little I mean, head pop out the, from the, the, the doorway. <laughs> hey, I couldn't help but over here monitor hearing. You know, <laughs> um, you know that Santa's bag, right? Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cute idea, but he made that bag, so. You can try it. <laughs> oh, and it takes a lot to get Santa egg liquored up. Why do you think we have barrels and kegs and casks of eggnog? I'll be right back. Frank's going to mosey over to where the cask of eggnog are and just grab two of them. Yeah, I can roll a keg. Yeah, uh, so it's time to get Whether it's Santa's bag or not doesn't make it more or less powerful of a magic item. It just means he'll see it coming. Which means there's no tricking him. That and if he, oh no, no, never mind. You're fine. If he is passed out drunk. It, then we could open the door if and he put his finger drunk, in there. Sure. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> and we could eat his ass in there. He rolled egg. disadvantage. Yeah, all that. <laughs> yeah. So Frank's gonna go grab two uh, of the largest <laughs> barrels. Okay. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them in the kitchen. Okay. Frank grabs two of them. Great. And he's going to come right back in and say, I heard you wanted some eggnog. And he's just going to kind of pop two holes in it and put some makeshift straws there and be like, here you go, big guy. I might have misjudged you the first time around. He kind of grabs his barrel, pulls it straight up against the bars and leans against and puts the straw yeah. in his mouth, starts sucking it down. And Frank's going to pull one of the eggnog bottles out and just say, to Christmas. And he's <laughs> going to kind of drink a little. To Christmas. I'm going to sit on table and say, okay, let's make a plan. What do you want to do about this Krampus fellow? Well, he drinks. Who are, you, are you talking to Santa? Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking to Santa. <laughs> That's a good question. I'm glad you guys are coming around. I'll, maybe I'll have to get some gifts for you. So, <sighs> Krampus and I have fought many times. <clears throat> but... As long as we have our, shall we say, followers, we really can't destroy one another outright. We'd either have to destroy the following or have someone destroy the sibling. It's weird. Is Krampus destroying your following right now? Because Folly's the only elf in this castle that's not a drow. Oh, the elves don't follow me. <laughs> please, please, they work for me. Humans! <laughs> oh. Why do you think I give humans gifts? They worship me. And I get power from their worship. It's it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> humans are so silly to trick. <laughs> You're right. Cheers to that. And Frank kind of hits up the eggnog again, takes a small sip. Krampus. He's, his followers are you people. All the non-humans. I guess you people like when Krampus puts kids in sacks and beats them. Or eats I've them. I've never heard about Krampus until I came to Christmas Town. Huh. Well. 
kind of sounds like an asshole. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> oh. uh, I'll drink to that, and Frank takes another swig. You might want to slow down there, little guy. I think Frank might actually be bigger than Santa. I think you are. So Frank's just going to chuckle a little bit and continue uh, sipping at the eggnog. Have you gone through a whole bottle yet? Mm. I don't think so. I, for Frank your size, slow. you'd have to go through three bottles before we're even going to do a check on you, so you're fine. I only have two, well, one and a half left. There so I'm going to mose the end and see if I can snag an empty bottle and then try to fill it up from Santa's cake. I think there was more left. It's just, because what, what what did we find? Like 70 The something? kitchen is full of eggnog. It, it, <laughs> okay, there is the no kitchen. way it's going to run out. Yeah, I just know very, uh, uh, Bashino and I grabbed a few bottles just in case, because you never know. Okay, I know I downed three already. You I did have you little six bottles. There you go. You have six bottles? I got six bottles. Mm, can you spare one? Yeah, or absolutely. I like Bashino, like hands over the bottles. Nice, thank you. <clears throat> Bonding with Santa. Little floating man. I guess to answer your question, the best course of action would be to go upstairs. You'll find Santa, or you'll find Krampus, I don't know, maybe in my bed. He always liked to take my things. Mm. And uh, I don't know how good of fighters you are. Maybe trick him, maybe stab him. I don't care, but if you off him, I'll make it all worth your while. What happens Who is... when we off him? Well, what happens when you off him? Uh, the power that he would have goes to me. And it'll give me the ability mm -hmm. to grant you nearly anything within your wildest dreams. I'm kind of okay with this. Something. Is Krampus <laughs> as strong as you physically, or is his a more mental strength? <laughs> uh, we're very similar uh, in many ways. The form I take, I choose to take, is a little more menacing than his, but uh, you could probably match me pound for pound if we were to come down to blows. Mm. You have any nutmeg? I think we can grab some real quick. Frank's just going to jolly over to the... Um kitchen grab uh is there another keg inside of the kitchen or is it only bottles there are let's see you grab two there are f two more barrels and then this huge cask uh keg thing that would take uh, definitely more than just you to move frank is going to grab the two smaller ones and uh can you procure any nutmeg within this kitchen that has all the smells yeah it's just laying there on the counter as if someone okay been so doing frank's going to grab the nutmeg and a little uh, whatever the fuck you call it, shredder, and he's gonna push the barrels in, and when he gets there, he's gonna push them up against. Same thing, double jab the holes and just start going hardcore on the nutmeg on the all four of them since he hasn't finished his first barrel, has he? And he's about about quarter the uh, quarter left. Okay, he's gonna give a little bit of nutmeg on that one, but he's gonna like dash the shit out of the other three. <clears throat> that many, looks pretty uh, good. Sorry, how many barrels do you usually drink at a time, Santa? Oh. Uh, see, I go through about four or five for breakfast. Um, dinner time, uh, oh, I don't even know anymore. Oh. My elves oh, carry oh, a lot uh, of We got a while. <laughs> I how mean, can you oh, help what? us with uh, Krampus? Well, what else can you tell us, or what can you do to help us plug the doo-doo? Well, I can warn you to stay away from his bag. It's, uh... It's not a place you want to be. But from down here, there's not much I could do. And what if we you set you free... Down here? Uh, if I were to go with you, I could... I could, you know, wade into the battle. I could fight him with you. I just can't deliver the final blow. What's to stop you from murdering us as we're fighting your, uh... sibling? Look, I'm an alcoholic, not a liar, all right? But give you my word, you have it. And these elves that you torture, they don't die. They just... I mean, get an acceptable smile. percentage of them might pass now and again, but it's hard to get good work. in that room, Santa? Uh, object lessons. You don't understand how hard it is to get subservient crew around here. 
They seem to worship the ground that you walk on, perhaps even fart. You know, they all love Santa until he puts them to work. I don't know. Maybe we should drink to that. <laughs> I like you more and more, guy. Right back at you. Frank's going to finish the bottle and uh, crack open another one. Okay. He's going to put a little bit of nutmeg in oh, it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys. How do you how do you feel about uh, recruiting assistants and going to fuck up a bad guy? A, a worse guy, hopefully, because like, it's all relative. Sounds good to me. Yeah, and he did say, I mean, I, I don't know about giving Santa immortal power. However, he can grant eh. his wishes. Santa, I mean, what, yeah. I have one thing to ask of you. Prior to my actual wish, though, if I get this wish. Ugh, let's talk about it. What's going on? Will you apologize to Folly? Why should I apologize to the help? Well, we like Jolly. And Jolly likes Folly. And Folly's nearly dead. I had to use a potion to save her life. So I think it'd go a far way to apologize into Folly to maybe, you know, utilize her as a uh, recruiter for your subservient folks. Does it mean that much to you? I have a, I have a little bit of a heart for those that look like children. Not so much. I know that she's old as shit, but... Yeah. Still seems to be a child. I understand that. I do care about the kids. All right, bring her in here. Oh, you said you used a potion on her? I did. What kind of potion? A healing potion. He pulls a potion of healing out from under his hat. Here. Oh, wow. Th thank you, Santa. Well, you know, Frank I, don't, is... I don't need you expending your goods on my on my help. Frank is extraordinarily excited and happy, but it does not show upon his face. This is so. Uh, he's squealing. What's that? He's going to go grab Folly. Milo, what are you saying? Oh, I was just wondering if this was another cell. It is another cell. There are several other cells, actually. Oh, um, but... why can't I see them? Well, so the grid off, but there's one here. It has a solid door instead of bars. This one also has a door, but it's open. And behind this wall, uh, this wall here, there are also four metal doors. Oh, well, I really want to know what's inside those, but also I'm okay with, like, proceeding with the rest of everything. I mean, you can go and look at them while I grab Jolly, because Jolly's frightened out of her fucking mind of Santa. It's going to take me a minute to convince him. All right. Uh, uh, Lindsay looks at you. You're eyeballing those cells. Can I help you? Yeah, Lindsay, what's, what's up with the cells? Is there anyone in there right now? Oh, only one of them's occupied. Who's in there? Do you know? Oh. Yeah, right over this way. And she opens this door here for you. Oh, she just opens it up. Oh my she god, it's up. an elf! And then elf comes tumbling out. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, who are you? Who are you? My name's Bolly. Hi, Bolly. Do you know Barry. Folly or Jolly? Yes, I know Folly and Jolly. They're my cousins. But we don't have time for that. Who are you? What are you doing here? We're... What are you doing here? You go what am first. I doing here? I'm the head of Santa's security division. We need to save the fat really man. Bad job. Oh, man, they got Santa. Santa, I told you not to drink so much eggnog. Shut up. <sighs> Frank's going to now exit and go and uh, talk to Folly to see. Okay, if I'm going to keep talking to this tarp. I'm going to be asking the elf uh, what the status of the security forces are. Last um, he, they, knew. She? He? It? He. Okay. Well, uh, well, when Krampus's folks came in, he offered he offered the elves a choice. They could join him, or they could be punished. A few joined. He carted them off to Santa knows where. A few are still <laughs> locked up downstairs in the Warrens, and the rest were slaughtered. So uh, oh. not really any security forces to be spoken of. You got me. You gonna help us fight? Well, I I could try. See, security around here is really more of making sure people stay in line. Oh, so it you sounds like it helps to the torture room. <laughs> it's it's the re-education center. 
<laughs> no. And if I were playing a slightly different character, I would be all about this. Santa is Chinese. <laughs> so when I, when I first ran, or when I, were, when I ran this campaign the first time, my, my younger cousin was playing, and he told me I ruined Christmas for him because he can never get Santa the same way again. So I, I pride myself on that. Yeah, I'm having like a hard time like wanting to help Santa. I mean, I'm okay like I with know. it. Look, he's still giving presents to humans. <laughs> which, which none is, of you are. Which is, yeah, yeah, but it's it's part of the known populated world. I know There's more about Santa than I know about Krampus. a group yeah. of people that are in service to him, but also being cared for by him. Like, yeah, could be worse. Yeah, they haven't tried to kill us yet while Krampus is henchman. Ooh. Oh, What were you rolling Keep for, trying Frank? to kill us. I'm I'm just doing a lot of persuasion rolls to try and convince Folly to come in. Got it. Oh. All right. Well, he's persuading Folly. What are you guys doing? Um, I'm kind of sipping eggnog, taking this all in. Okay. Uh, I'm I gonna say, do. well, you don't look like you'll be much help, and I don't want any extra variables. How about you stay here till it's over? On one condition. That little crack gets put in a cell points at uh, Lindsay. She's the one that stuffed me in here. I don't know how. She's tiny, but she's strong. Uh, what say you, Santa? <laughs> Good luck getting her to do anything she doesn't want to do. <laughs> Sounds like he's going back in the cell. I don't advise that. I'll answer questions for you. Not you, him. Oh. Hey. Is Lindsay the only one that can open up the cage? She has a key. Hey Lindsay. Can okay. you uh can you take care of locking this elf back up? Yeah, just one second. She turns around and Spartan kicks him in the chest. He flies back against the wall and as he's <gasps> breathing, she and keep in mind she's a third his height. So she jumped oh. up and kicked him in the chest. Uh, and then she walks over and pulls out a key and Locks the door. Excellent. That's, that's all the data I needed. <laughs> I wanted this? to see how that would be handled. <laughs> What's the status on Santa? He's just getting, a, he's gone through about two barrels and he just seems really chill. The edge off. So not even a little bit tipsy? I mean, he said he did four no. to five at breakfast and <laughs> an how unknown many amount <laughs> at dinner. So I have a feeling we're not getting him wasted. Okay, so do we want to change our plan or just keep? Well, we're we're trying. gonna see what Folly says because if he okay. apologizes to Folly, Frank is willing to Bichino, work you've with been, him. Yeah. What if Bichino, something would happen to quiet. the observer? Any like I'm thinking that so, like Santa said that he wasn't a liar, right? So why don't we make him promise that he'll do his best to treat the elves better, and we'll let him out. Have him sign a contract. Maybe he uh <laughs> sign it an eggnog. He has a high moral standard for I, contracts. I like very official. Yeah, I think we're letting him out. Yet? Yes, you've convinced Folly to come back in the room. Uh, who am I near? <laughs> What's that? I'm I'm not near anyone. Uh, I'm trying table. to whisper to somebody. How do I make that happen? You go slash, slash w. w space type their name and then the message. Oh, I just mean like oh you just say i'm gonna whisper to this person yeah, no, i no, whispered no. A... <clears throat> you're yeah, only next to Lindsay, and you're right that's what i'm worried about you're capable I just of moving wanna... if you want hey does anybody want to step into the hall and discuss what we're doing real quick before we decide on what we're doing with santa panacea is yeah, in good Frank's already out there convincing yeah. fucking Folly, so. <laughs> Should we wait for Folly to come in? Uh, well, well, like they're he talking. just convinced her. Yeah, well, they're talking. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm just going to chat with Frank real quick, and I'm just going to say, hey, maybe we let him out and just stay ready to stuff one of the two of them in the bag if we can, but otherwise proceed. What do you think, Frank? I think if uh, Folly is willing to hear his apology and feels it's sincere, then we can start the negotiation. 
Well, Folly's okay. right behind but you. I still think we should look for opportunities to cram one of the big bad men in the bag. I don't disagree maybe not with Santa, you. Santa, but maybe Krampus, because that way he doesn't die and Santa doesn't get super powerful. I'm anything up for anything. left in the bag is destroyed. That's a good point. Does it say that? Okay. That's only at Hold the on. end of the day. What about though? living things? Any creature that starts its turn inside the bag is devoured and its body is destroyed. <laughs> but <laughs> bear in mind that this this is uh, critical technology, and so it may or may not work on them. Or he's going to go back in with Folly and uh, see if he can negotiate a, a good apology. Folly so follows you in. An object? Well, I'm good with... Um, <clears throat> I, I came out in the hallway, too, so I heard what Varian was saying. Um, I'm good with putting Krampus in the bag, because if he doesn't die, then that's good, because the Thana won't be super powerful and immortal. But if Krampus does happen to die in the process, then we get a wish from Santa. Yeah, we're probably going to have to kill him anyway. It's a win-win. Yeah, probably... I feel like someone at least is going to die. All right, well, if that's the plan, <laughs> and we're not trying to off Santa anymore, maybe we should just ask Santa if we, what would happen if we put Krampus in his bag. We can do that. Yeah, that sounds good. good. But he still needs to apologize to Folly. Okay, we can ask him after you Okay, apologize. we'll wait for a set of apology. Folly is following the followed <laughs> Frank. Okay, Frank uh, comes in and says, all right, Santa. Folly is visibly Folly. shaking right now. <sighs> Walks over here. Little elf. F Folly, right? Fol yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry I, like, hurt you and stuff. It wasn't cool. And uh, I'll give you extra rations. My bad. What say you, Folly? Extra r rations? With, with, with cookies? Yeah, with cookies. With, with icing? Yes, with icing. And sprinkles? Don't push it. Okay. I like cookies. S speaking of pushing things, Santa, I believe one of our uh, compatriots here had a request for how you treat the elves. Uh, Varian, where are you? Oh, it was actually... Bashina, where are you? I'm right behind you. Hello. The man with the mustache has Everyone's to say. got an opinion. Do you understand what it takes to run this operation? There are billions of humans that I have to visit every single year in one night. We have one year to prepare billions of gifts. Billions. It doesn't the conditions, the amount of people I have, it... <sighs> Why not build a bigger castle? I can't build a bigger castle. Because Why? to empower the factory, I need to contain my power within a certain amount of space. If I spread it out too thin, it dissipates, the elves aren't able to work at the same efficiency. Things don't get made. I'm not Jeff Bezos here. I don't have all the money in the world. Okay. <laughs> what if you had the add additional power from uh, Krampus? If I have Krampus's power, then I could probably expand. Treat them better. I mean, I feed them. I clothe them. I protect them from the polar bears. I, I hear you, but maybe not torturing them. What mustache man, what do you mean treat them better? As there's like, two of us. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess the shorter one. Little so, mustache yeah, man. Like if you're looking at I'm at Folly that's right in front of you, she is shaking. You need to prevent this from happening. This is what we're talking about right here. She's grateful for cookies. Isn't that right, Folly? She, she, she. <laughs> Grateful. Gratitude. Yes. Frank kind of, he's mimicking what Bashino's doing. He's just shaking his head and being like, just because they don't know better doesn't mean they shouldn't be treated better. 
That's all right. We're not asking you to have a hotel for them. They have a hotel. Give them some time off. <laughs> Give them a little bit more cooking. Oh, time off. Did you not just yeah. hear about the time constraints? I, I heard them, but if you increased your power and your output, the time constraints would lessen. And then you wouldn't have to put them on the plank board and almost murder them or murder them. Because again, there were skeletons in there, Santa. Skeletons. Both of you were Santa, persuasion. Oh, keep talking. We're not I'm like asking for perfection. We are I'm asking for growth here. Please roll persuasion. I love that. I'm not asking for perfection. I'm asking for growth. Can't demand yeah, can't demand perfection, but you can I might demand growth. Wait, so who's rolling? Santa. Both, of, Both of us. Oh. Will the mustaches prevail? My hands smell like lemon. With our, with our powers combined. Ah! Yes. You see the the wheels in Santa's brain kind of turning. Does his race have brains? All right. They do. Okay. Two of them. Oh, God. Only one. I don't know. <laughs> they don't have two brains. <laughs> Well, uh, okay, so if I agree to treat the elves better, give them time off, and don't re-educate them? Don't torture them. As much. If you want to re-educate them, maybe have them have a group conversation of ways that they can increase their productivity while still having self-care. Self-care. Back in my day, we didn't have self-care. You lift, don't you? I do. <laughs> That's self-care, Santa. Fine. Okay. I will agree to give the elves time off, and I will agree to them having self-care. Will you sign it in eggnog and blood on this piece of parchment? Frank just pulls it out of his coat. Is it already written up? <laughs> uh, let's pretend Frank is magical. <laughs> let's see. Do I have anything that can do that? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Would you consider this channel the divinity turn the tide? <laughs> Well, I'll give, give you enough time to, to quickly write it up. Oh. Frank takes a quill and just uh, dipping it essentially in eggnog and then pricking his finger and just going, 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 going. He says, all right, I'll sign for the non-elves. The elf will sign for the elves and you sign for the Kringles. That's not that bad. I didn't know you spoke Kringles. I pick up on Kringles very quickly. It's a little more of a, but close enough. Less phlegm, more click. Gotcha. Uh, Frank's going to sign. He's going to hand it over to Folly. Um, there's still blood and eggnog on there, so he's going to wipe it off real quick and then give it to Folly. To Folly looks at it. What does it say? Because she, she wants elves, to know before she signs. The, the elves shall continue their service with Santa to benefit the race of humans with joy each year. However, they will not be persecuted with torture when things don't go great and they will be given at least a day off and some self-care methods that Santa does not need to sponsor but is encouraged to do so. A whole day off. She gets so excited. A whole day off? One whole day. Bites her finger and starts scribbling in blood. <laughs> All right. And then Frank's going to put it on top of the barrel, uh, whichever one Santa's on at this point, and uh, he scans yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you are. Now, can you get out of here? You sure can. Uh, Let him elf out. on the shelf. <laughs> My name's Will Lindsay. You... Hi, Lindsay. Will you let out Santa? Of course I will. She walks over and produces a key and opens the lock. This should oh be very goodness. interesting. <laughs> you creep me out. <laughs> 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 All 
All right. Well, uh, Santa, I guess we follow you in this case. Um, so roll 20 deleted one of the maps. Son of a bitch. So give me just a second to get that map uploaded. <laughs> Krampus got Love ran it. over by a bug. All right. We're going to have a short intermission. <laughs> but the uh, two of you who are watching, who I think are actually my players, stay with us. We'll be right back. Do 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 do.
Maple syrup is for devils. Apparently, maple syrup is for devils. Welcome back. Thank you for waiting, even though none of you are actually here. But if you're watching later, thank you for fast-forwarding back to this point. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, now that everything is loaded back in, you all have just opened the door for Santa. Ho, ho, ho! Uh, it's about time. He steps out and knocks over one of the bo uh, one of the barrels <laughs> that was in his way. Just kind of knocks it over and steps to here, kind of kind of warming past Frank, Ugh. stretching around. Oh, so much more room for activities out here. Ugh. Oh God, it's weird noises. <sighs> it weird you hear noises. you hear like sp cracks go all the way up his spine. <laughs> Frank's impressed. Well, what are you waiting for? Show us the way, Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Follow me. Are we bringing the little ones with us? Maybe it's better they stay down here. One's drunk and the other one's hurt. I'm not drunk. <laughs> You're drunk, Jolly. Uh, can I have more eggnog? There's more eggnog in Santa's cell. Oh, eggnog! Does, does Folly follow Jolly? Folly was still in there. In the cell? Oh, Folly hasn't gone into the cell yet. Folly, why don't you go with Jolly and you can be safe in there while we uh, deal with... You promise? I mean, as safe as you can be. Perseus! Do you have any cookies yep. or fudge? Uh, I got two Christmas cookies. Do they have frosting? No. Yes. <laughs> sure, Whatever. whatever you want. Yeah, of course. Do they have sprinkles? You got it. You want it? <gasps> Please. There you go. You are so nice. Yeah, Indeed. I've been told that. She sits uh, down and Frank's gonna you. Frank's gonna put his last bottle in with them and then close the door, um, just to keep him safe right now. All right. Hey, that's my bag. <laughs> You uh, you using that <laughs> floaty man? Well, we were kind of hoping to use it for some sort of trickery. We thought you might be able to advise. Trickery. Is this student useful against Krampus? Uh, I mean, he has his bag. I'm not sure he'll touch mine. <laughs> you guys aren't going to touch each other's bags? We typically don't. <laughs> oh, okay. I was curious. As he's walking, he reaches out his hand and the bag starts floating toward him. Oh my god. Frank is just I don't following. know if your unseen servant's going to fight it, but... Man. I'm staying really close to Santa. Well, oh, we gotta go upstairs. Yes. Don't know why y'all are just standing there. We're following you, oh, so... Are you really? I'm, all, I'm at the stairwell. Fucking... Frank, I guess, is just going to sprint over to the stairwell. I thought the DM was just going to transport us like he normally does. Yeah, I, I just didn't know if there was anything else you guys wanted to do. No, I just want to murder Krampus, evidently. Oh, you know what? I didn't bring Santa. <gasps> no. Santa. That's all right. It'll just take me a second to... But you brought the fucking elf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, she's coming along to observe. She's an observer. It's what she does. Weird. Ah, uh, Krakorin is back. Yes, you did miss one of our streams, but that's okay. They're on their way to fight Krampus. They've decided to work with Santa and do stuff. So Santa didn't get run over by a reindeer. <sighs> All right. Got to go this way. Lindsay, Lindsay, come here. I need that key. Yes, Santa. She hands him a key. And he, uh... You left my magic bag. Store. I don't know what you're talking about. It's right there. Jesus, I thought that was the unseen servant. I don't know what you're talking about. It's another stairwell? Yes, these ones go up. You see a nice, ah. a beautiful entryway. It's got nice rugs, sconces all over, some decorated Christmas trees. It smells of, of pine and yule. And th it, here in this corner, the stairwell's going up. It's like, normally you'd have to have a, a passcode to get up these stairs, but they're my stairs. And he starts walking up. 
and the stairs advanced. allow him. And Frank's just gonna go behind him. That's not creepy at all. Indeed. All right. Where's Mrs. Claus, Santa? Mrs. Claus. <laughs> oh, I wish I had a Mrs. Claus. You don't? No. Surely someone that looks like you would be able to attract a Mrs. Claus. I don't really have time for a Mrs. As you uh, come up here, you see uh, some narrow hallways, an array of rooms, and he starts leading you down the hallway in this direction uh, to a set of double doors right here. And there's a sign over the double doors that says Santa's Sweatshop. <laughs> All right. I Frank begins rethinking what he's done, but he's already in this deep. <laughs> I can feel Krampus. He's in my gym. Guess he's trying to get a little swole, too. <clears throat> well, are you all ready? Uh, Frank would like to utilize his flame tongue short sword to prepare an attack and with the other hand, prepare his hand crossbow. Okay. He's going to shoot Krampus. Immediately? No talking? Just pull the trigger and go aren't we already determined that we're killing Krampus I'm, I'm just making sure oh. I understand what you're trying to do that's all so Fr that's Frank's smart. just gonna look back to the group <laughs> we're killing Krampus right no I think we're trying to put him in the bag right but we have to try and kill him to do that don't we uh, severely you think he's just gonna him. you think he's just gonna touch the bag even though he already has his own bag that does the same exact thing well if we do a sneak attack with the bag maybe I think if Santa can feel Krampus, then Krampus can feel Santa. That he can. <laughs> That's true. Okay, we just, yeah, I forgot we um had Santa sign the contract, so. I'm cool yeah, with like that. Pacino will unlimited power. also get his, his weapons at the ready. Specify your precise preparation. Um, right hand Actually, both hands are on my longsword because I need like both hands, right? For that same. For, for, yep. You're you're two hand and your your longsword, huh? It, it's definitely long. A very is, strong is grip a, is needed. Is there a specific thing that you're like preparing for with that two hands? I'm preparing for the signal from any of us um, for when this door opens. All right, so when the, door, when the door opens, Frank's going to shoot at him. Are you going to do something during that round? Frank is going to slash and shoot. Okay, so you're going to charge in slash and shoot. Okay. I lost yes. my unseen servant. I'm trying to stuff any... Uh, stuff me, daddy. Any minions. Oh, sorry. Again. I'm trying to <laughs> stuff any minions in there. All right. Let me make sure that Unseen Servant is back for you. Stuff me in that. Stuff my die. <clears throat> okay. There is that. Um, I'm going to get my psychic, to psychic blades. Okay. Both hands. I'm going to flank to the right when I go in. Um, preferably attack the first enemy henchman, I guess I see, to the right. Um. And then just kind of stay put there. Bold of you to assume he has henchmen. Yeah, well, I feel like he's probably just getting swole as shit inside this gym right now. He probably has a spotter, though. So. Just keep fucking... I don't know. <laughs> Go for his spotter. <laughs> he might Go have for a spotter. Team. One more, I mean, Krampus. One more. Attacked by... And another one. Henchmen. Another oh. one. Come on, you can do it. Keep pushing. Don't be such a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right. Well, Frank is ready. I think Bashino and uh, Perseus are ready. Varian, what what are you doing? Uh, am I still flying? I'm just kind of curious. It's been a minute. We talked for a while. Yeah, while no, you're definitely storm. walking. Boo, boo. Lightly. I don't you're think I can pass that one lightly. Um, <laughs> let's just take a long rest right outside of Santa's sweatshop. Yeah, right outside of Cram's <laughs> bedroom door. So before we start, I am going to have everyone roll initiative just so after you, you know, we can just keep track of everything since we know we're going into a fight. Slash R D well, I thought we were going to chat at the guy for a second. Nice. I don't know. No, Frank is going to try and fucking burn him. Quite oh, literally. Oh, we're going in swinging? That's 
Yeah, that's what I was that's trying to verify to, to make sure everyone knew who was on the same page. Okay. You know? Yeah, I thought we determined the opposite, but I, I'm glad well, you chatted. Santa said that Krampus has the exact same bag, so it's very unlikely that we're going to be able to trick him into sticking something into it in order yeah, to. That's fine. We'll just knock his ass unconscious and then stick something in it. That <laughs> works because then he there can't stop us. Now we're talking. Unconsensual uh, Krampus love. <laughs> okay, I can't see anything anybody rolled because roll twenty. Is um, weird. Okay, so uh, no, I, just, I, I need to be able to see the chat when you guys are rolling. And, Machino twenty two. Okay, like I said, doesn't matter if you read it off to me. If I can't get it to work during combat, it's not gonna work. So let me restart real quick. Re. <laughs> Why do okay. you do this? The universe God. does not want us to finish this campaign. Everything it's is gonna just happen. fucking breaking. Sirenscape crashed. Now, oh, okay. Okay. Okay, Cupid. Okay. Okay. So, okay. here I have Bashino's initiative is 22. Mm-hmm. That's a big roll right there. Frank had a 16. Yes, sir. Is your character sheet not working for you? Uh well it's on my iPad I'm on my Got laptop it. so I don't have all the the fun stuff that I typically have up. Got it. I got a sixteen too. Yes, but, you did. But Frank can go first. Can I yield initiative? Well, no, you and I have to. Have to we have off. to roll off, don't we? Typically, this is just D twenty. Yep, the highest D twenty gets it. I don't think it's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. <laughs> Custom roll. All Wait, right. what? It says that, 15. Okay, whatever. The, that, That's a D20. The, the one I just rolled was for Panacea. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'll, I'll, I go last in that case, I believe. At least in our I got a one. Order. I rolled a one. No, no you, you rolled a seven. Oh, okay. It looked like a one on the die. <laughs> Sir, are you drunk? <laughs> I wish. I mean... No. Oh. Dad? <laughs> All right, uh, Frank is ready to Frank. All right. Uh, with that, Santa kicks in the door. And yeah, fucking Santa up front. Ho, 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 Mother Crumpus. Comes Frank is going to follow directly behind him. <clears throat> and uh, sure. since we've rolled in, He's going to go right over to... Is Krampus the one on the right or the left? I can't so tell. So when you guys when you guys small. walk in, you see this guy lifting a... Or just setting down, looks like a, a barbell with several plates on it. Um, and behind him, encouraging him, you see a somewhat creepy looking uh, elf woman who is Krampus. I'd say she's hot, not creepy. But oh, whatever. she is hot, but also she got to die first. Uh, well, Frank's prepared action is specifically for Krampus. Yes, so uh, Frank is going to go up to the side of Krampus and he's going to do his thing. Uh, is this a sneak attack based no, advantage? No, he knew you guys were there. No advantage. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah, he knew you were coming. <laughs> oh, what? So, uh... I mean, technically, okay. I shouldn't even be giving you guys the. He rolled higher than you guys, so I shouldn't be giving you the first Ooh. chance to do stuff, but yeah, you know, I'm feeling nice today. Does a 14 hit? 14 does not hit. All right. Well, Frank is uh, sort of angry at the fact that that happened, but he will follow up with a crossbow attack. I have an important question. I have an important answer. Did his encourager also roll initiative? She did. Oh, okay. Interesting. Why is that interesting? So Frank, Frank just I mean, she's in combat. Everybody is. shot wide. Shots fired. Yeah. Shots missed. Frank was just confused by the attractive elf woman, so there he you go. he he misfired, if you will. All right. Uh, I don't know why you went first because it should have been Bashino up front. But that's okay. Well, this was the surprise portion, wasn't right. it? I was just going to have you guys go in order of initiative. But it's well, so, Shino, what are you up Frank to? Frank was on the Krampus's booty. Okay, uh, yeah, so um, I'm definitely going to attack Krampus here. Take <clears throat> my long sword. Yeah, you are. Nice and long. Okay, here we go. That's oh. a hit. 
Let's see. Yeah. Some damage. All right, cool. Yeah, we're rolling for damage. Sorry, I got excited. Does Pacino get any advantage? Oh, no, he's not sandwiched. Oh, that's not 11. That's pretty good. 11 damage. Okay. Does Krampus start the crit block? You do get two attacks per turn if you want. Um, attacking again. Another one. Oh. Uh, you did not hit that time. <clears throat> okay. So it is, yeah, okay. Um, I think that's it for me. Okay. Perseus. Yeah, I'm going to fling my psychic blades at Krampus as well. But I believe you that. prepared your attack specifically for a spot. For the first minion you saw. For someone to the right. There's someone really to the right. You said the first minion okay. you saw. So. Uh, yeah. I'm just trying right. to keep us true on that one because otherwise it'd be very unfair well, to Krampus' and, swole. Yeah, because we are technically going a little bit beyond by letting you guys prepare actions before combat. So I'm going to hold you very close to what you said. Okay. So you do need to attack oh, the minion. Costly. Good to know. May I state that um, Perseus is a little bit hesitant, though, because Perseus <sighs> is also an elf. Also notices how attractive the elf is. But yeah, I think it's interesting. For that... well, anyway, go ahead. <laughs> Why this elf so hot? So. <laughs> well, I just find it interesting that you're all non-humans, and you're still choosing to help Santa, who only cares about humans. I just find that very interesting. Well, he made concessions for the elves. That's fair. He did. All right, and anyway. I apologize. What were you doing, uh, Perseus? Yeah, just chucking my psychic blades at Chuck away. <laughs> Throwing them at this no. bitch. Dex. You're going down. No, you're not. Oh, no. <laughs> A Ooh, nine right. does not hit. Did he do it on purpose? Maybe. Maybe. He's uh -huh. like, hey, <laughs> how, how you doing? A 19 does hit, so maybe it wasn't that <laughs> intentional. <one. laughs> he was he was a little shook off on the first one, but that second yeah, one. Yeah, a little startled. Um, but yeah. And 16 and damage. A sharp yes. of breath and inhalation. <sighs> All right. Um, I'm gonna move up just like one. To be a little closer to the action, and then that's gonna be my turn. Is Perseus still covered in fudge? Probably. Well, she she hasn't <laughs> told me that he's wiped it off yet, so. Okay, I, I just wanted to make sure because Frank Frank has an idea on this up right now. Panacea failed to prepare any actions because I failed you guys, so she. No, it's because she has a bird mask. She doesn't yes. know what's going on. <laughs> uh, Varian. It's like hard to see anything. Varian, Varian. Does oh, whatever. Oh, oh, there we go. Does. I'm struggling with the mute button tonight. Maybe I should just leave it unmuted. Um, so hey, uh, I'm gonna do some stuff. Yep. Do that stuff. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> guess what I'm gonna do? <laughs> Magic missile. My Only low, different. I finally gave you control of your bag, by the way. I'm sorry, I, I took that away from nice. you. <laughs> hey, you like around. Uh, yeah, my I'm bag. Gonna, I'm gonna send it hovering over here because it can go about that far and I don't know what else to do with it at the moment. Um, we didn't really get a good look around the room because combat started immediately. Nope. You, I can tell you what the room looks so, like if you're looking at it. It's a gym. I'm super looking at it. I'm kind of <laughs> so, in it, but gym. I'm far enough away to get a good look. I right, think. so as you're looking, you see uh, what looks like a, a makeshift bench press over here. It's nice, very soft looking. A uh, bunch of free weights back here. Uh, big barbell looks like he's used for deadlifts here. Uh, very, very, very heavy looking wagon wheel. Uh, looks like he might be flipping tires. Um, some okay. some boxes for jumps, and then uh, a military press over here. Um, it looks well, uh, everything looks well used, but well maintained. Um, the weights are really, really big. Like the plates, there's no forty fives. Everything's just. Like hundreds, <laughs> hundreds. <laughs> Fuck. Well, I'm impressed with my ability to be observant with the the she elf in the room. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna start throwing spells. Do it. Yes. Here we go. There's my target. The crampy. Are, are you firing your laser? Fire your. Yeah. <laughs> no magic missile. <laughs> uh, have you guys seen that? You've seen that, right? Which part? There's so many. 
the magic missile. There's like a. a I, I've a, seen the guy, guy who's like LARP. thunderbolt, thunderbolt, thunderbolt. A larper. No, no, he's a larper. He goes magic missile, magic missile, magic missile, and then he goes. There's another larper oh, who goes. Out of mana. Thunderbolt, thunderbolt, thunderbolt. I don't They're know what you're doing, so. Thunderbolt well, is more appropriate for what I'm doing, but let me roll. Just some go to Redmond. That's all you need to do. Just go to Redmond. That 22 will Hold hit. Up. Light him up. Light him up, 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 light him up, 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 Krampus is on fire! All right, uh, the 17 does not hit. God damn, what is he wearing? Is it just his muscles, like, bouncing things away, or? So, he's very, he's good at dodging. He's, oh, he's kind he's of squirrely. He's, he's thin, he's couldn't look less like his brother. He's got a, a very... <clears throat> drawn almost um sunken face large horns he's very skinny in the body uh and in the arms you're not quite sure how he was just lifting the barbell he was lifting um in one hand he cheater. has in one hand he has a very large sack in the other it looks like he has uh, a bundle of sticks so he has he has a large sack in one hand and a feg in the other yes Okay. Krampus seems a little bit of a sexist. How's his sack look, though? Oh God. Uh, patched. It looks. It looks very patchy. Oh no. But large. Like you can oh, easily no. put people in it. It's a realistic one. What's that? I said it's a realistic one. Somewhat. Does the sack have any wrinkles? <laughs> um. <laughs> We're going to go with no. Oh, wow. He's a top no, boy. It is, and it doesn't look furry either. Wow. That's surprising coming from a goat man. Yeah. <laughs> all right. He, uh, was that all you had, Milo? Uh, did I, I, I shot both things. I moved a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's good for me. Actually, I'm going to step over here so I can put Santa kind of more so in between the action, a wall to my back, and I'm ready to go and turn. Okay. Uh, he laughs. laughs. This, <laughs> this, this is the best you can bring to me, Chris. <laughs> uh, I will crush your minions and then I will have mine deal with you. I should have taken you out rather than putting you in the cage. And he throws his hands out to the sides. And uh, you see a sphere appearing. Sorry, roll 20 is being really slow. You can just say you're being slow. It's okay. Not when I was being roll 20. I'm waiting for things to actually load. All right. <clears throat> a sphere appears oh, no. here. Uh, right there. And everyone within a five foot radi radius of it needs to make a dexterity save. Oh. So that is going to be Bishino, Frank, and Perseus. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, what? Yours is good. Mine, not so much. <laughs> oh, yours is the one. Okay, yeah. Yes. <laughs> bad. It's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. All right. Uh, Bishino's was equally bad. So, Perseus, you save. Rip. You take half damage. Um, can can Frank do protection on this for Bashino? No, because that just imposes a disadvantage, and it doesn't make it so there's a dexterity. It doesn't affect saving throws. Okay. So, all right. Uh, and in that point, a, a a giant snowball appears and immediately breaks up into tons of smaller snowballs that crunch down and start whizzing around and start Wait, beating. Wait, how you guys. did these appear? When he cast his hands out. Oh, I'm in a counter spell. Reaction. <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> Sir, you, you gotta be a little bit quicker than that. So sorry. So sorry. He, he uh, was focused on lightning him. Yeah, I know. I'm, count I'm trying to cast counter spell. I'm gonna go ahead and click the button. So that we can all... <laughs> Clickety clack. Get clapped. Alright, so I need to make a... Is it a whiz save? Uh, what what level are you using? Third level? It's yeah, I think it's only a third level. This is a second uh, level 10 spell. Plus the casting, spell's level. So. so you have to do a thirteen. Let's see. 
It doesn't say what. It's just DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. Creatures casting a spell. Oh, well, the spell's below a third level anyway, so you just canceled it. Oh, wow. So, Hooray! So if it was Straight fourth or higher. Saving Christmas. Right, if it's fourth or higher, then I'd have to do a save. Krampus got ran over by a fucking warlock. So he casts out his hands, and nothing happens. And he looks around, kind of irked. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I'd be pretty pissed, too. I'm not going to lie. If somebody canceled my lightning bolt, I'd be real upset. Uh, she moves to right here, and she is going to um, reach out and touch, and not in a, a nice way. Um, Bashino, she. Oh no! Break the, is still visibly upset by the fact that he is not being touched by the self. <laughs> she charges forward with uh, a um, scimitar and takes two swipes. Protection. All right, so two swipes with disadvantage. Wait. Why are you oh, no. applying protection? Because you're worried about getting touched? Well, I mean, it gives me a reason to be in front of Bashino somehow. Uh, so the likelihood of my touching this elf is much higher. All right. So my first two rolls were a 17 and a 24. Uh, my second ones are... That's a 23 and a 16. So 17 and 16. Do either of those hit? Um, they both hit. I'm at 16. Okay. <clears throat> That's six. God damn it, Bashina! Uh, she <laughs> hits you and deals you sixteen damage. Sixteen Ooh. damage. All right. All right. And she, uh, she, as she's doing that, she shouted, "You should not have come here. You've picked the losing side. Why help the humans?" And Santa looks at her and says, "Stuff it, witch." And uh, does Frank get time to respond? If you'd like. Do you want to join a different side? You look nice. And he <laughs> waggles his uh, mustache a little bit at her. Like she little... rolls her eyes at you. Uh, I would like to roll persuasion. Maybe on your turn. <laughs> Fuck you. Damn. Uh, why is this doing Frank this is just preparing me? a pickup line. <laughs> Sorry, like my iPad is being stupid now. Sorry iPads That's are right. stupid permanently. You know what? Did you ask her if you could buy her an eggnog yet? Hey. Whatever, I'll just do it that way. All right, uh, so Santa not having his bag uh, looks a little bit sad because he uses his bag a lot. So instead, he's just going to reach out and try to um, punch the uh, female elf. He still has his hat. <laughs> uh, and he does hit her one time and deals her 2d8 plus 4. This uh, isn't like 80 damage. I'm going to be disappointed. 8 damage. He doesn't have his bag or his weapons. His bag suddenly gives him more fucking damage. His bag allows him Can to do Can he pick a up lot. a barbell? Come on, Wait, come on, big guy. Why, why, did, why did Santa not get any of his equipment well, before we came up here? Because I, I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> uh-huh. Come on, Santa. <laughs> Don't worry. But Sheena, what do you got for me? Yes, so um, can I roll persuasion to, uh, to talk to the... Just tell me what you want to tell her. All right. What about... Like, would you like to join our side? Why? Because we're the winning side. <laughs> Go and roll your persuasion, but uh, it wasn't a very compelling I hope you get argument. An at twenty. Yeah, it's a. I hope it's an at twenty. I really do. Doesn't mean it's gonna happen. <laughs> oh. She oh. just laughs. <laughs> That's cute. Take that as a doe. Okay, then oh. we'll, um, like, knowing that I failed, I'm going to go ahead and attack Krampus twice. Do it. With your longsword. With my longsword. Two hands. Oh, you're attacking Krampus with your two-hand longsword? Uh-huh. All right, so that uh, did not hit. Okay. Hit it for my two times. Doom, doom. Does not hit. 
Krampus has an AC of 18, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. Perhaps it might be higher. Uh, is upset, and that's my turn. <laughs> All right, that brings us to Perseus. And so remember when I said that vision? He said I first, and and nobody hit him, including me. Oh, I'm just gonna kind of move up right oh, next to her, fuck. just you know, to say help Bashino, so Bashino isn't her only target. I'm <gasps> watching oh. out for Bashino. Um, Thank you. Yeah, wait, you're wait, welcome. did Bashino roll advantage? He didn't have advantage. Oh. Santa Claus is an ally. Oh, he was attacking Krampus. Never mind. I'm sorry. And yeah. is, she, is she, what would consider um, a sandwich for her to have a disadvantage? Uh, you'd have to have somebody here for you. Like, it has like to be... a four sandwich? No, so ask her a question one more time. Oh, like would she get disadvantage? If no, she's no, you don't get a disadvantage for being in the sandwich. So <laughs> you, okay. it's just people have advantage against you. Oh, okay. You don't get disadvantage, but they have advantage. Correct. Okay. So do we have advantage against her? You don't, because you oh. would have to have an ally on the other side of her, directly on the opposite side. But oh, okay. you get to do your sneak attack damage, since she has one of her enemies within five feet of her. So that's a small condolence. Sneak attack on her? Yeah, Yeah, it, you get it, to do your adds, sneak attack damage. Your since you you're damage. a rogue, you get to use your sneak attack damage on her. Sneak attack. Okay. Once per turn. Campus. I don't want to sneak attack her. Okay. I mean, if you're not necessarily. <laughs> so you're Krampus. not necessarily sneak attacking her, but the sneak attack ability can be used uh, as long as you have advantage, i.e., if you are hidden, or if she has an enemy within five feet of her. So it makes it so you mm. you have the option, the opportunity to choose to do that extra damage. You don't have to. Okay. Yeah. And if you move anywhere around uh, Krampus, you would have advantage. Um, on the top one, and then you'd have sneak attack on the sides because there's somebody within five feet. Mm, okay. It's not that big of a weight room. Yeah, it's a pretty small shop. Okay. Um. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna attack Krampus with my psychic blades. All right. Yeet. <clears throat> I believe. I don't you. think I can persuade her. Does not hit. But you have another one you can try. Yup. Yeet. <laughs> I guess my left hand is suddenly stronger. <laughs> All those lonely <laughs> nights. Reason. Hey. Uh, uh, that does hit, and he deal you deal him ten damage. Cool. All right. You got anything I else for have... us? Wait, can I specify where I aimed? So it really doesn't make a huge difference based okay. on the rules. Um, so I can't aim to like knock the knock the bag out of his hand. You can try, but that will require extra. Um, rolls on your part if you're trying to be super specific and make something happen. So I would have to have you do like a dexterity roll against his or something. Okay, I'll so. save that for my next turn. Okay. Because yeah, I don't have any more moves. Well, done. you could choice. you could have oh. chose to do that this turn with what you did, and I would just make you have one extra roll. You hit him no matter what. We'll see mm -hmm. if you hit him where you wanted to. Oh, can I do that then? Sure. It's just gonna be okay. a straight hey, dexterity. Yours yeah, against shot. his. Cool. Cool. Uh, and if you roll higher Just... than four, you've hit him in the hand that's oh. holding the bag. Fuck. Yes. All right, uh, you I hit will. him. You hit him in the hand, and uh, he drops his bag and kind of shakes his hand out. Ah, that's smart. Nice. Okay. He's weaker now, right? Supposedly. He's not holding his bag. Okay. Thank God. Okay. Turn. All right. Uh, it's rather vile that he was holding his bag in front of us. <laughs> well, you know what? At least he wasn't making you hold his bag. Yet. <laughs> Fair. Uh, Panacea is going to do her patented um, crossbow. Flamey boy? Oh. Ooh, yeah, she doesn't have a lot of spell slots oh, left. No. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> I interrupt this message to, to point out oh. that there's little ears on my pillow. Oh. Yeah. There is little <laughs> yes. ears on your pillow. That's all. You know what? We will do her patented flamey voice. She does have one more uh, second level or third level bell, bell slot. So. Name on! Actually, she's going to cast it at third level. <gasps> Power. Boom. So I feel like that is what she would do. I agree. Yep. Not that I Oh, have... fuck. 
All right, well, that didn't do much. She's gonna still look, a powerful spiritual weapon. <laughs> she's gonna look mildly disappointed, uh, and pass the turn her time to Varian. Hooray! Um, yep, yep. hooray! I'm not gonna keep doing what I am built for doing. I think. Um, I think I'm the. <clears throat> am I the only one that successfully landed a hit on Grampus so far? No. Uh, I did. Perseus I knocked hit him. back. Oh yeah, you got that hand though. Okay, I'm hand, just gonna though. keep blasting away, uh, and save my spell slots for, you know, other things. Here we this go. is the final battle, so. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I mean in the battle, I might have oh. reaction spells ready to go. You know, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, ready. So what are you doing? Uh, I'm force lightning in Krampus. Yeah, that's a good thing for me to tell you. That hurt. looks really good. If 20 doesn't hit, I'm bummed. Okay. It does. Oh, yeah. Look at all that damage. I'm going to do it again. All that 14. Um, wait. Does a 19 hit? It does. Krampus' ah! AC is 18. Confirmed. We know now. Look at me lighting it up the Krampus. Lighting up the If there Krampus was such a thing you know, as an armor class. His armor class could be 19. Because if you meet, if you meet the armor class, you hit. Well, I guess we won't fucking know oh. until we get an 18 roll. <laughs> All right. Was that all you had, Varian? Yeah, I kind of like my spot in the corner over here. It's, it's. Um, I, I could, I could move my bag and maybe even <laughs> put it in reach of the Santa Claus, but I don't know if. Do, I do you mean the Krampus? Bunker. What? Do you mean the Krampus? No, this is Santa. You're trying bag. to beg Santa? No, I was just gonna like make it so he could get it, maybe. Oh wait, you know what power happens? Up the Santa Claus. It seems like this we got a, a pretty good pact. I, I have a mechanic going. question. Uh huh. What happens if a sack of devouring devours another sack of devouring? It will. It doesn't specify, but it's going to be treated the same as if it was a uh, um, In a sack of bag holding. of holding. So it's going to be an astral plane teleportation fun time. Yes. Hint. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I mean, that's pretty cool. Is it still on the ground? Can my Unseen Servant carry two bags? No. It has two hands. No. Oh, they... well, this thing is definitely going to try and scoop. I'm going to use my, my brain to talk to it because that's how that works. I'm going to try and get the Unseen <laughs> Servant to scoop it. Does anything you guys, happen? I said, you, you heard me say, no, it can't hold both, right? Oh, why would you? Why would it not be able to hold both? All right, Wait, fine. Well, it goes over there and it stuffs one of them in the other one. <laughs> Scooping's not holding, technically. So you're going to have it try to stuff the bag in the other bag? Well, you said it couldn't hold yeah, both at the same absolutely. time. Absolutely. I'm just making sure I understand what you're doing. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. Grandma's bag and Santa bag. Let's see if it's able to do that. Go ahead and roll a um, sleight of hand for your unseen servant. Uh, is that my roll or its roll? Your roll. It'd be using your abilities. That's fine. Oh, okay. That's not going to work. Uh, it tries, but it's it's having trouble manipulating the opening of the other bag. I don't know what why that would be slight the hand, but I bow to your DMing. It's being I sneaky. Suppose. Well, it's not just necessarily that. Um, you use slight of hand for lock picking for anything that requires dex a dexterous task on a smaller scale. Indeed. So I can't hold both bags. That's that's still baffling to me. I'm gonna. Well, your uh, servant can retreat. Yeah, your servant can. A it's, it's a weight thing, because your servant has a weight limit, doesn't it? But these are magic bags. How much do they weigh? Well, Enough. the one you're carrying weighs about five pounds, but Krampus's bag is a lot bigger. Like I said, it was very uh, large. It's just because you let me put it in my inventory to prove you wrong. <laughs> bag well, of devouring. Is Krampus is a bag of devouring as well, it or is, an, is his a bag of holding? It is a. It is a bag that does things. Ah, yes. The thing does. Bag. Okay, enter. I'm good. Ready to go. All right. Um, Krampus is going to uh, take a swing at Frank. Wait, Don't did if... Krampus roll even better than I did? No, well, he did, he's first. He rolled the highest initiative, but he also has lair actions, and I have not been um... using them yet. Uh, so... Krampus is going to take a swing at Frank. 
Um, and I'm assuming a nine does not hit. It doesn't. Lucky you. All right, Frank, it's Indeed. your turn. Uh, Frank is going to kind of make his way through where Bashino is and kind of in between Krampus and Elf Lady. <clears throat> and he's going to turn to her you, utilizing his interaction. So to for, you push between the two enemies? I slide. You're going to have to do a athletic <laughs> check against one of them. Uh, how about this? I'm just going to fucking walk all the way around because I have enough movement speed for that. That's fine. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Um, and then he's going to say to the uh, witch, and he's going to be like, this is a persuasion attempt, mind you. Girl, are you a witch? Because you know how to make something stand without even touching it. And he waggles his mustache again. <laughs> Please roll for gross. <laughs> I don't have that. Um, I guess persuasion. That, it, I was gonna say, is that deception? <laughs> uh, let's see, persuasion plus six, eighteen. Uh, she is disgusted, but she believes that she made something stand up. <laughs> Frank is okay with that. He's gonna <laughs> stab Krampus now. Um, do I get my sneak attack since I have an enemy within five feet? You do have that. Okay, so slash R. You know, since you're like roguey and whatnot. A little roguey, just a little. Uh, slash RG 20 plus 7. Let's see what we get. Fuck. Uh, but um, that's okay. Because <laughs> I have um, my crossbow expert thingy, right? I feel like I have something else. Extra attack. I can just do attack twice. So I'm going to do it twice. Sounds like a party. Fuck. <sighs> Frank is sad that the witch was grossed out, even <laughs> though she acknowledged what she did. He's uncertain uh... of his abilities. <clears throat> Clearly flailing as he tries to hit Krampus. He resigns his turn. <laughs> All right. Uh... Krampus lifts a hand toward the sky, makes a fist, and drags it down. And ignore that. Counter spell. <laughs> do you have counter spell again? Um, I actually don't know if I can slash should. I do have one spell slot left of that level. Level three. Yeah. No. You're more than welcome yeah. to counter spell if you'd like. Don't do All right. Fuck it. Bad. Here it goes. Land and fly. Uh, let me push the button though too, because it'll it'll tell me if I can't. So let me do that, that first. I'm pretty sure I can. Well, like I'm not the most learned. Okay, yeah, it used a pack slot, and now I have zero remaining. Okay. So third level, third level counter spell has been cast. All right, and you see him get frustrated as nothing happens. All right, Frank's AC is 17. Be right back. Got it, Frank. <clears throat> Hooray! Now that Frank's gone. I can tell you all that the whole reason I, I got counterspell is so that I could beat Frank's ass if he if he causes this trouble. The whole reason you got what? The whole reason I picked up counterspell. I know you can hear me. <laughs> it's so that I could beat his ass if he tried to like use controlling magic on me ever again. There you go. I think that's completely reasonable. Uh, this female here is going to take the disengage action and move back over this way, and she's going to try to grab the bag that your unseen Whoa, servant Santa's is Whoa, Santa's bag? Yes. Oh, damn. Wow, that's rude. Uh, so it's going to be an athletics check, your versus hers. Okay. Pretty you good, won. Pretty good. I rolled a 12. Yeah. So. <clears throat> oh, you know what? She can't even try to grab because she disengaged. She doesn't have an additional action, so that didn't matter anyway. She just ran over there. That makes sense. Yes. Uh, Santa is going to um, go blowing through between Whaleye and Perseus and come over here to face his brother. Uh, and he is going to um, level one of his giant fists uh, right at him. With advantage, question mark? Yes, with advantage. Okay, I was just still trying to grasp if we counted him as an ally. Oh yeah, he is an ally, even though he's in red. Uh, and I rolled like crap. Oh, Santa, no. Okay. Uh, so Santa 
cocks back his fist and drives it at Krampus, who nimbly dodges. <laughs> you think you can get me, brother? <laughs> you always were slow. Shino. What would the spell... You rolled, you rolled twice? Um, like asking I rolled four the times. Enter, the spell of like fog cloud, what would that do for the as far as advantages and disadvantages for the team? So none of you guys... Like, Oh, go ahead. Oh, no, no. I'm like, sorry. No, please. Uh, you were going to... Oh, no. Like, that was my question. Got it. So, with Fog Cloud, it makes a 20-foot sphere that counts as heavy... Um, heavy obscuration? I don't know what the word is for that. Anyway. Um, and so, it lasts for how long? Was it 10 minutes or an it hour? It says one hour. For an hour. Okay. Um, and so, since there's no wind, it wouldn't dissipate, but it's going to make it so basically no one sees anything. I'm going to blank out the screen because uh, I'm going to be fighting through fog. And you'd have to play by basically using perception uh, to perceive where enemies are. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. Um, <laughs> but that would happen to the other guys for... too. So, <laughs> Yeah, but gosh, I felt like we might be here for a long time. Okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead and attack Krampus then. All right. Long sword. <clears throat> 22. That's a hit. All right. Show me some damage. Nine damage. Rolling again. Does not hit. All right. Well, I'm pretty happy with that first one. All right. Krampus reaches out and tries to grab you. Um cost two actions. So I need uh, just a grapple, so it's going to be an athletics check. Okay. Yes. Sorry. 18. Okay. You you actually won by a point. So Krampus tried to stuff you in his sack, but uh, did not <laughs> succeed. I almost died. Well. Well, it doesn't mean you'll die. I mean, you no, don't know what the sack He just starts a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A uh, struggle for life. Perseus, what do you got for me? Yeah, that's really scary. That <laughs> you know, I'm like, terrifying. Got stuffed into a bag. So I'm gonna move over here. So we're kind of away. Um, but to the elf, since she's trying to get the bag, and then <coughs> since I haven't used my wondrous item yet, and I really want to use it before the campaign ends, mine is a rope of climbing, but it's a rope, so I'm gonna use it to um, <laughs> try to like <laughs> tie her words. up. Yes. Okay, so tie it's gonna be. <laughs> Uh, athletics check. We're going to count that as a grapple. Oh, so, really? Yeah, because you'd okay. have to grapple her first, and then I, I usually give you the tying up action for free if you succeed in the grapple, even though it should be separate, but whatever. Anyway. Oh, okay. Oh, I have an advantage while knotted? Oh, that's the rope of climbing. Oh! Wait, why did... Oh, did I roll with the advantage? You did roll with the advantage. Good. So, uh, and we'll take your first one. Advantage climbing while knotted. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay. So we'll take your first roll, and that beat mine. So you were able to bind her. Yes. Okay. Um. What is the... Uh... Never mind. And then the Unseen Servant only has Santa's bag? Yes. Or does it have Krampus's bag, too? It only has Santa's bag right now. Krampus has Krampus's bag. He just tried to stuff somebody Krampus in it. Krampus unless... Oh, right. Krampus's he picked bag. it up again. Okay, never mind. Did, it, did he use, like, an interaction or something to pick it he up? He did use his interaction to pick it up. Okay. Yeah, Good I don't think I can checking. do anything else. Right? That was movement action. I'm good. All right. Uh, Krampus is going to swing with his uh, little birch gore switch thingy. Um, and he's going to swing at uh, Santa... And he hits, dealing him a whopping seven damage. And then Panacea is going to trade out her crossbow. For, eh, no, she's probably going to stick with her crossbow. Um, but first she's going to hit with that flamey boy, because that's how she do. Indeed. Kind of miss her being I think around. You're you doing a good job representing. Stop it. 
I have too many tabs open. The spirit of JD slash Panacea. <laughs> JD, if you're watching this, we miss you. Or KD. I don't know why we just said JD. KD, we miss you. That was my fault. I did that. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just followed your lead. Jeez. Yeah, you did. I, I, I'll own that. All right, so as her bonus action, she is going to use it to try to hit Krampus. And it has advantage, which is good, because that first one didn't hit. Nor did the second one. Well, that's no fun, but she's going to follow that up with her crossbow, also trying to hit the Krampus. Which also does not hit. Okay. So she was kind of ineffective. That brings us to Varian. Hooray! Lightning bolts for everybody! Um... <clears throat> I'm going to move the Santa bag to the over here by Panacea. And by that I mean Unseen Servant, Force Ability, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm gonna force. sit down and do some 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 strict military pre just kidding. I'm going to <laughs> cast some stuff. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> That's a hit. More damage coming through. Let's see if we can do it again. Uh, yeah. That is not a Wait. hit. No. <laughs> wow. Well. And now you know. Now we know. <laughs> I'll take right. a, another little chunk of his hair. Does he have facial hair? Cause... Um, he has a little goatee. Oh, he doesn't have a Santa beard. Does Santa have a Santa beard? He Santa looks does have a Santa beard. So Krampus, underneath all the clothes, looks a little something like that. Oh, oh he's God. scary. Hello. I like him. So. All right, you got anything else for us, Varian? No, that'll do it. I'm all righty then. It chunking is away that health bar. Frank's turn, so we'll give him just a moment to come back. I, this is a problem. I need to study, but I really want to have a drink. Just, just one or one and a half. Rut row. Is your exam tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, like, what, what? In the morning? Yeah. Uh, I think it's at two. I think it's at two. I think it's two to four thirty. Oh. Which is great because it gives me a little more time to prepare, but horrible because. It's a Friday, the oh, very Sorry. last day of finals. Yeah, yeah I don't know why they do any finals on Friday. That's just stupid. Because mm -hmm. God hates you. Um, do that? I have advantage on him since he's surrounded? You do, in fact, have advantage on him. All right. In that case, I'm going to try and slice him and dice him. Oh, I'll take the nat 20. Yeah, you will. <clears throat> Um, so let's see here, slash R, 1d6, plus 4, and then my sneak attack is a slash R, 1d6, so 24 damage. Love it. And then I'm going to hit him up with the, the double attack. And I get advantage on that too, thank god. Or do I? Yes. You have advantage on all your attacks. Okay. 23? 23 will hit. Slash R 1d6 plus 4. I did not add my uh, fire damage to the flame sword on that last one. Ruh -roh. Give me a second here. <clears throat> Sorry. So that's supposed to be 2d6. We'll do that one for the first one and this one for the second one. So technically, on the first one, you would have taken... Is that 19? Yes. So 38. And then on the second one, he would have taken uh, just 16. All right. 40, 54, I, I think. Yeah. I, I just do it chunk by chunk on here. It does all the math, math. for me. It's great. It auto calculates. I just have to put damage, blah, 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 and hit enter. I love it. Oh, there you go. Um, and then Frank is going to. 
Mm. He's going to maneuver about Krampus. Not leaving the range. And from this distance, while she is um, entangled, he's going to say to the witch, <laughs> God damn it. Babe, are you a witch? Because you just went Guardian Leviosa at my dick. I'm done. Bye. Yeah, she's okay. If we don't get canceled, if she could, she would slap you. <laughs> uh, no, slash RD20 plus six for persuasion. Come on, that 20. So even if you rolled a nat 20, it wasn't going to do anything because a nat 20 doesn't make the impossible happen. Oh, ouch. Okay. Frank is very. <sighs> His self-esteem has been brought to an all-time low. He's going to take it out on Krampus next time. Uh, that that ends his turn. All right. Uh, and Krampus, for his part, um, is going to disappear. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> does Santa say anything when this happens? Santa goes, damn it. I hate when he does this. Does what? Well, he's invisible. Anyone got eggnog still? Uh, while that's going on, the gal over here is going to try to break free. She wants to break can I free. Restrain her? She is restrained. She's going to see if she can break but the rope. Can I further restrain her? <laughs> <laughs> on your turn. Okay. I restrain uh, her a second But time. don't worry, she um, she has someone really horrible rolling for her. Uh, this battle is not going to be very climactic if I keep rolling like this. Um, anyway, with a natural one, she ends up accidentally giving herself severe rope burn. Um, and she takes uh, three points of damage. I feel like this is getting kinky. Brown chicken, brown cow. <laughs> All right, Santa is going to uh, start trying to feel for where Krampus is. Um, but he's not that... Can you feel it, Mr. Claus? <laughs> so he comes over here, and he's going to grab the bench press barbell uh, and uh -oh. knock off one of the weights and use it kind of like a mace from here, or a warhammer. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Bashino. Now he's going to be right back in the chat, so he might still be gone. Ruh -roh. Santa got ran over by a racist. <laughs> we might skip uh... him and come back. Perseus, what do you got? Yeah, um... <laughs> uh, trying to figure out how to find Krampus. I have ink. Could I just throw that in the air and hope it lands on... I don't know the uh, surface area. I like would that say you have you have a bottle of ink. I do. I would say you could do either ten feet in one direction, or forty five degrees, so three adjacent um, squares. So. Th so like, if Wait, you were to do it right here, you could either hit here, here, and here with your ink, or you could hit like in a straight line. Oh, here I see. And, okay. And here, so you can move wherever you want and try to throw some ink. Okay, let's see. So he was right here. Well, I feel like he'd go for Santa. Okay, okay. I'm going to move here next to Bashino. And then I'm going to throw ink at, like, well, I guess I could try to select it. Um, like my three adjacent squares with, like, the, the two touching Santa, sort of. How do you... I don't think it's working. Oh, there we go. Um, one there. So here, here, and here? Yes. Yeah. So like this. Yeah? Yep. OK, Perfect. great. Okay. Uh, you throw Fine. ink that way, that way, and you splatter some on Santa's shoes. And uh, he's like, these are patent leather. Sorry, Santa, but I had to make sure Krampus wasn't coming right after you. <sighs> Gotta make sure Santa wasn't coming for you. But yeah. you don't find Krampus. Ah, okay. Oh, but hypothetically, if he did step, 
in the now ink on the floor. Precisely. It would. Okay, Which cool. is why I left the line there, so we'd remember. Perfect. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. You got anything else? Um. Yeah, I'm going to try to throw it. Wait. Was my action to throw ink? Yes. Oh, okay, well, never mind. You know what? We can count that as an interaction like uh, opening a door. Because why cool. not? Yeah, there's nothing um, the straight line from me to the door. So I'm just going to chuck my blade in hopes that Krampus is in these three squares. So okay, I so it'll be a... You're, you're throwing in one of your uh, daggers? Yeah, um, straight on in front of me. So it's going to hit the door. But okay. if he's in those three squares, then it should hit him if sure. I roll high enough. Uh, your dagger goes all the way through and sticks to the wall here in the hallway. Ding. Oh, I guess it's a psychic dagger, isn't it? So it passes yes, through so... the air and doesn't hit anything. <laughs> yep. Okay, that's my turn. All right. Uh, and you feel something, well, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. Dad? Uh, does an 18 hit? Yep. Okay. Uh, you feel something strike you on the back of the head. Uh, or I guess you're facing that way. So on the side of your head, your right side, uh, and deals you uh, seven damage. I know where he is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Panacea is is confused. Flamey Boy has nothing to do. So Flamey Boy is going to come guard this guy. Um. And she's going to look around and see how her allies look. How do her allies look? Good. <laughs> I'm, I'm how fine. do the rest of her allies look? <laughs> pretty pretty decent. All right. Well, then, since the other two are here, I'm going to assume they're looking. At... Oh, oh, oh. oh. How's, oh. How is. Uh, Guys, I got a Darian drink and looking. took a phone call really fast. What happened to Krampus? Can you, can you fill me in? Oh, he just oh, poof, disappeared. And then smacked someone. Oh, he someone smacked somebody even though he's, he's disappeared? Yes. He smacked me. What a dick. Mm. What the... Well, the only thing I can do probably won't help, but like, why not? I want to shed some light on this situation. Is it my turn? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, oh. I was, <laughs> we were trying to ascertain if you're hurt. If you need healing, Pers uh, Panacea is looking around, seeing if anybody needs healing. Oh no, I I, I look I look I look amazing. You look like I'm Milo. <laughs> no, no, not that one. Right. This is this is during oh. finals edition of Milo. Let's got it. Well, You're then it is attractive. then it is your turn. Milo. Marion looks better than that. Oh hooray! Uh, I'm just gonna cast a, the, this thing because I got nothing better to do. The night is the night. Everybody's gonna do it all night. Everything. Oh, Victor's be back. Right. Hi, Victor. Just like hey, sorry about that. And here we go. Oh, 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 oh. And there's no. a copper thing. Okay. Oh shit. I'm going to use my celestial legacy daylight. Oh, just Dad. I don't know, just for fun, because I'm out of ideas. And what's that gonna do? Well, it might help us see shadows. Is my idea. So I'm going to put it in a far corner of the room and I'm going to look for shadows on the opposite side. So I'm casting my 60 foot radius sphere of light that spreads out from a point where you choose within range. The sphere is bright light and sheds dim light for an additional 60 feet. So it's going to be pretty bright. Uh, and I'm going to use it. I'm going to click the use button. There it is. It's used. Would Limited you say it shines bright like a diamond? Shine bright Not like similarly. Diamond. All right. Where, where, so I was um, thinking... Uh, let's see. Where was he last seen? Right around here somewhere, and he punched yes. her somewhere. Yes, Him? correct. Okay. I want to put it right. I want to put it right above this chick. Can I do that? Can I share a space with her? Sure. Can it be above? Yeah, her? it'll be above her head. <clears throat> As you cast the light, she kind of shies away from it because it's so bright. How high is the ceiling? Oh, 12, 18 feet. Okay, I'm really nerding out on this. I only oh, wanted about 10 feet tall so that we can get more horizontal light rays so we can get a 
larger shadows. Okay. Just, just saying, I'm looking for shadows. Hopefully, for sure. he is still in this plane of existence. He is, but he's invisible, so light doesn't affect him. Son of a bitch, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it depends on your your form of invisibility. Uh, D and D invisibility is they are untouched by light. Wait, it's not like cloaking. DM it's actually invi- well, it. no, no. If you, in the book, it's actually Damn. invisible. Uh, if he was doing some like, I, yeah, I get what the... you're saying because if he's doing some like chameleon type stuff, then you would definitely hardcore see a shadow. So you determine mm. that he is using magical invisibility. Ah, or he's just not there. Or he's just not there. You got anything else for Varian? Um, I can. Uh, I don't know. I got a bright light. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so up here. I am going to um, use my interaction <clears throat> to summon my packed weapon. I'll be <sighs> using both long and short blades. Just because it looks badass in this situation, I feel like it is what I would do if the enemy suddenly turned invisible and started hitting people. Uh, so I'm going to whip out my swords, you know, kind of like crouch, crouch lower, prepare, you know, kind of look around, try and that's sense so crouch right now. Here from. All the things, but yeah, that that's that's what. Maybe I'll even put myself in the corner. Fuck it, two swords out in the corner. Let's go. Okay. I think I saw something about Scott Pilgrim <laughs> saves the world in this. All right, Varian, you got anything else? No. <laughs> Frank, talk to me. Um, Frank is a little flabbergasted that the kind of large but not so in charge guy uh vanished here for a second so he's gonna walk to this space does he run into anything uh just the wheel no he, he's nimbling through that like a ninja oh, um he's, it's like the football drill like pop, 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 pop. um <laughs> how about when he gets over here nope all right does he get advantage since flamey boy's here cool uh, not advantage no but he does get sneak attack damage okay um, so he's going to use his last interaction to just be like, it'd be a good time if you joined our side. We are the better of the two. I will never serve humans. And I'm not you human. You won't defeat Krampus anyway. That's what you think. But if we win, I get to take you out on a date. Well, you are somewhat dashing. But a creep. And... You serve a master that only cares for humans. I could never be around someone with your low moral standards. We got him to compromise on the elves. <laughs> you think that will change anything? He doesn't just hate the little elves. Oh no, he signed it in his blood. Of course. He, he, he agreed to take care of the little elves, but what about all of the other creatures in the world? He's never been One around step to help at a time, any of which... them. One step at a time. Anyway. Uh, with that, Frank is, is is Krampus innately evil? Are you asking me? Yes. Um, he's not. His alignment is not evil. This is alignment good. No. What the fuck? He's neutral. You're me, telling me Krampus me is neutral? On he's chaotic Krampus. neutral. Because in what look at it, though, is Krampus neutral? Against humans, he is evil. For non-humans, he is good. So he's chaotic neutral. And Santa's the same. Frank's For humans, human. he's good. For non-humans, he's evil. But he's chaotic neutral. So in the case of Frank being half Goliath, half human, would Krampus then be evil technically? To your human half. But no, he's, okay. his, his, no, I his mean, alignment I think, is I not think evil. First point. What Look, saying, Milo? you don't know what I'm trying to do. I know Milo. exactly what you're trying to do, Jordan. And his you do. is neutral. Milo does. Uh, no, I know where you're going with it, but I'm actually siding with the DM here. His first description was, "Hey, different groups think differently, so we put them in the middle." Your point is, I'm one of those groups. So no, I both of those divine sense yes. specifically in order to try. And, and you are more than welcome to cast divine sense. I also well, it's know not going to help me if he's fucking that. chaotic neutral. Um. Let's see. Let me see what else I have in terms of spells. Uh... What's your ability that does things with uh, interacts with light? 
Uh, I, I have a flashbang yeah, essentially, but he's, he's like not that. he's not chameleon styled. So like even if I flashbang the room, we wouldn't see a shadow or anything. At least from my understanding of how uh, Brandon described it. This is true. Um, well, since Frank didn't attack, he's going to come over to this spot right here, which should use the rest of his movement, and he's going to cast Zone of Truth and say, where are you, Krampus, and see if he gets a response. It's worth a shot. <laughs> he so, just says, pull uh, out. <laughs> and because I can't pull it into here, uh, you create a magical That's zone funny. that guards against deception in a 15-foot radius sphere centered on a point of your choice within range. Until the spell ends, a creature that enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there must make a charisma saving throw on a failed save. A creature can't speak a deliberate lie while in the radius. You know whether each creature succeeded or fails on its savings throws. An affected creature is aware of the spell. Mm-hmm. So it's um, not compel them to speak. Yeah, no, I was it about doesn't. To point that out. But I know if they, I know if they fail their saving throw. So you'll know if he's in the radius. I.e., you'll know if exactly. he's in the room. Okay. Well, on well, his... I'll, I'll know that he's within a fifteen foot radius. Oh yeah. God, is this room that small? <clears throat> Fuck. You'll know he's not in the corner of a room. So, on... <laughs> so he's not by Varian. <laughs> and uh, he fails, and you know that he has failed. Okay. Uh, so can can everyone see my my squares? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, my arrows. We can, we can count. <laughs> okay, yes. well, uh, Krampus is somewhere within this little fucking combined area. <laughs> He's punching. not over here. He's chilling with our with our rogue. He might uh, be. Kind of punched me. <laughs> Sucker punched you. Okay, well, um, Frank is just gonna shoot a crossbow then right over into this direction, uh, oh. specifically kind of <laughs> right past Varian. Uh, or sorry, Perseus, and just trying to see if he hits a goat man. And that'll be all that I can do. Um, let's see if my aim is true, or let's if I hit aim is Perseus true. in the th- fucking head. How do you manage this? 19. And you don't hit. Frank says, he's not in the northwest. <laughs> and that's my turn. All right. Uh, Krampus reappears right there. Um, What the fuck was that noise? I have no idea. I'm hearing things. Yeah, so. um, And then he uh, once again casts his hand up in the sky, makes a fist, and drags it down. I know Varian doesn't have any more counter spells, so burn that spell slot. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> and I need everyone. Foiled again. I need dexterity saves from everybody in this radius. So that's going to be. We cast it here. So that's 20 feet in every direction. Oh, yeah. That's the whole room. So everyone. Everyone. To include the bound elf. And as he does this, freezing rain and sleet start to pour down from the sky. Uh, the ground becomes covered with slick ice, uh, and anybody who fails the save ends up prone, which is a 15. So, Varian, you are prone. Perseus, you stand. Bashino, you are prone. Frank, you stand. Uh, Oof. Panacea. That's what happened when I fell. Oof. Just like that. <laughs> Oof. Panacea. What about? Oh, Panacea God. falls, like, flat. Take, takes one damage for her ass. <laughs> she breaks her tailbone, no big deal. So, <gasps> Varian, I'm going to mark you as prone. Rip. Panacea and Bishino get marked as prone. <clears throat> Frank hasn't been damaged in a really long time. This is a weird game. Yeah, and it's going pretty slowly, too. We might be here all night. I'm going to have to stop eventually, finish my assignment. We might have to finish this another time. We'll see what happens in the next 29 minutes, 28 minutes. That's exactly what I'm thinking. <clears throat> All yeah. right. Uh, and with that, um, Krampus laughs. <laughs> oh, that's all I've got. Shut up! <laughs> uh, the elf chick is going to try to break her bonds again. She fails, uh, but she hasn't cut herself this time. Santa. Good. Oh, I didn't roll to see if Santa was prone. 
Santa saved. All right, Santa's going to come up to here, and he's going to take a swing at his brother. Uh, he hits him and deals him. Show me that layered attack. Sixteen daddy. damage. Oof. Pacino. <clears throat> Wilfred. Victor? Oh, I thought he was fucking with us. He's talking to his wife, I think. Got it. Sorry, guys. Yeah, like I just did. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm here. Hi, it's your turn. Um, moving towards Krampus for an attack. You have to stand up first. You are prone, so it'll take half oh. of your movement to stand up. Okay, so um, I have... Okay. You have more then than I'm, enough. I'm going to stand up, and then I'm going to move? Sure. Okay. So, did you stand up, hook up, and then shuffle over to Krampus's? Um, I stood up, shuffled, jumped forward, and now I'm right. And this is why he failed airborne school. <laughs> airborne? <laughs> my knees! All right, so you're in front of Krampus. What do you do? Okay, I'm going to attack with my longsword. Do it. Do it. You failed to hit. Good. It's a good thing I got another one. Come here, Chunky. You failed to hit. Oh my goodness! Okay, that's my turn. At Great, this big ass boy. He's chonky. A boy is thick. That is huge. You ready? You ready? <laughs> Boom! Oh my oh god! Someone needs He's to do some kitty Pilates or something. Hurry, chonk! First hiss. <laughs> Talk to me. I missed him so much. Um, so I'm gonna look at Krampus and I wanna ask why. When we were on the the train to Christmas Town, why did your followers, henchmen, people attack us? Wait, did they attack us first, or did we attack them? Well, they like murdered. Frank everyone. charged in, <laughs> and just started going nuts on people. But they so had they been killing the wouldn't... passengers on the train. Okay, so I'm a, I'm gonna ask about the passengers on the train then. Why were they killing? Were they? Because I don't think they were human. So if you're supposed to be I guess good for non-humans. Why, like, have you been attacking us? If you're supposed to be on. <laughs> Everyone who had an invitation is Santa's stooge. Can't trust them, and I couldn't have them here during the transition. Case oh. in point, this. <laughs> Very good point. <laughs> okay. Per Percy also, he's questioning things now. But... I did get punched by Krampus, so I'm still gonna I'm still gonna attack him. But I'm thinking in the back of my head, who who's actually good or bad? I'm I'm mulling <laughs> over it. Are you thinking who's naughty and who's nice? Did Precisely. you make a list and are you checking it twice? Well, I don't have time to, but I would <laughs> if I had time. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh we no. lost Victor. We did lose him. Okay, so. Well, the whole yeah, all the cameras gonna be messed up for a minute. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Everything blew up suddenly. I think that's all the questions I had. Yep. Okay. I'm going to attack him. <clears throat> Do it. Do it. <laughs> so my right hand. Does that go? Yep. Uh, so you try to hit him, but you oh, no. you blatantly missed. And instead you hit Bushino, <gasps> Um And you Fine. deal him... Uh, three damage. We'll have to remind him. Okay. Um, well, since my right hand does not seem to be working today, uh, let's do my left hand. Nope. Nope. Does not hit. All right. And he... Okay, that's it. <laughs> is that the end of your turn? Yes. All right, Krampus is going to reach out and try to grab you. I need an athletics check. Okay. Yes. I mean. <clears throat> no. Oh, ah. very bad athletics. It's so, I think it, no matter what, it rolls advantage because I have an advantage for the rope of climbing. So I'll probably just take the seven. Got it. Well, yeah, I rolled 21, one. so neither one will, will do oh. it. Uh, so he grabs yeah. you and stuffs you into his sack. <gasps> um, as you what? go in there, it is dark. Uh, it, it feels spacious. You don't you don't feel a bag touching you. Uh, it feels like you're just floating in this warm environment, but you can't see anything. You can't hear anything. 
uh, you are blinded and technically restrained. So. Okay. So we are going <laughs> to good? actually uh, just put you in his square and put you on the bottom. <clears throat> you are in the sack. I don't want to be in the sack. Okay. Uh. All right. Uh, Panacea is going to stand up. And she's going to try to uh, send Flamey Boy over to Krampus to try to hit him. And she cast it third level, so... She finally hits him! And deals five damage. <laughs> but that's okay because she's going to follow up with her crossbow. This is so much less exciting without the Sirenscape. I know. I've been jamming out to my Christmas lo-fi the whole time. There you go. It's not like battle music. <laughs> <laughs> and Panacea misses again. Barry and talk to me. Oh, I guess Bushino had to go. Victor had to go. Did he? I don't know. I don't know on Discord. Hey, he says, "Oh, is he gone go. for good?" I, I guess so. Oh. oh. Well, that's well. that's fine. I'm sure he has something to take care of. Yep. Yeah. Things happen. Uh, so we'll finish this round, and then we'll call it for the night. Okay, that sounds good. I've got that would make me feel better too. Yeah, because I, I have um, to be doing too. Yeah, y'all need to. Yes. <laughs> doing school. Okay, you know what I'm doing. I can see a guy. I'm going to try and blast him. Oh, wait. I'm going to stand up first. What does that take? Interaction? Half of your movement. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I ain't going anywhere. I like this corner. It's a nice corner. You can't get flanked. Uh, yep. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some rolls. Here we go. Oh, to be clear, I'm, I'm shooting the Krampus. I figured. I did that assuming I'll try thing. and hurry him up a little bit. Looks like some good rolls, some good solid damage. Two hits, 18 damage. Hey, we raining on him this game. I've only missed once, I think. I think so. He's looking a little frazzled. There's holes and, and cuts and burns in his in his uh, um, cloak. Uh, one of his horns is singed. His hand is still bleeding from where someone stabbed it earlier. He looks He looks hurt, but not injured all right uh, anything else from you varian um nope i i think i'm good in my corner where's my my bag is still over my fantasy yep. yeah that's that's fine uh, that's all well and good how's how's our lonely friend over there looking is she trying to get out of her restraints she's at been all? trying every turn and she's failed every turn uh, well i hope she continues because that's all i got all right uh Krampus tried to smack Santa with his uh, switch, and it did not work. So, <laughs> Frank. <clears throat> Nintendo. <laughs> oh, that's not the switch I thought you were referring to. <laughs> Frank. Frank, hey, boy. All right, one second. That's all right. Th this is going to be our last turn uh, since yeah. Bushino's gone for the night and we all have stuff to do. So, make it a good one. Uh, Frank's going to come right here and he's going to double stabby stab at uh, Krampus. Does he get advantage at all? Uh, not from there, no. But if you were here, you would. Oh, looks like Frank's over there. Sounds um, good. Slash RD20 plus 7 slash RD20 plus... Seven. Um, Second one's a hit. Okay. So that is going to be slash R 1d6 plus four. And he gets sneak attack as well, right? Yes. <clears throat> so let's see. Attack. So 1d6 plus flame, which is 2d6. I think I typed that correctly. 19 damage on the first one. Okay. And then he's going to do his second um, attack. Same thing. D20 plus 7. Uh, does a 20 hit? It does. 
And I don't get sneak attack on this one, right? No. Okay, so 1d6 plus 4 plus 2d6 for the flame. Uh, and another 14 damage, so right. a total of something. I, I got it all put in. You're good. America. All right. He's looking hurt, but not down. Good. good. All right. And uh, with that... Frank, Frank Cackles. Frank Cackles, you said? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And with that, we're going to go ahead and call it a night. I know you can't see every, everybody because their pictures are all messed up, but they can see... Well, I'm on here twice now. Hey. But they can all see uh, not you either. Anyway, uh, Jordan had to leave, but we just want to give a quick thanks again to uh, D&D Beyond for the rule books and the character sheets, to Roll20 for the virtual tabletop, to Sirenscape, even though they're not working today because it's a pretty cool program. If you didn't hear the sounds and you want them, go ahead and yell at them, not me. Uh, of course, a big thanks to Twitch and YouTube, the VA, and the University of Washington. And finally, y'all, our viewers, uh, if there are any of you. We appreciate you toughing it out and dealing with all of our <laughs> technical sure. shenanigans and our other shenanigans and uh yeah from my heart to yours i wish you a good evening and enjoy your long rest okay